So I'm going to play a video from PayPal that I received on December 28th, 2022. This is what they call courtesy. This is one of those courtesy calls. I received them many times. I have many recordings of uh, so-called courtesy calls, which involve after talking to a customer service rep, whether it be PayPal, um, uh, Verizon, uh, T-Mobile, usually they call you after and they call it a courtesy call. Uh, I find it to, 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 uh, to be a nuisance. I imagine many people do. We don't want to, so, you know, some people consider that to be an invasion of privacy, whereas these people will keep you on the phone for hours and hours and hours, and they do that deliberately to try to break you. They want you to be an automaton where you don't have a mind of your own, you're suddenly enslaved. And one of the ways they break you is by keeping you on the phone and disrespecting your time and literally hours go by. I've uh, posted enough complaints where um, people have said, next thing they know, hour, an hour or two have gone by. Nearly every single Better Business Bureau complaint mentions the amount of time spent on a call talking to uh, representatives of these uh, companies, okay? So um, having worked in customer service, that's not normal. That's not at all normal. You wanna be efficient, you wanna be courteous, you wanna address the uh, person's concerns and then get them off the phone. We don't all, it's not, we don't, some of us have things to do. We don't all like to have, I personally do not like to be on the phone at all. I strictly text. So for, uh, for that to um, show as many times as it does in complaints, that's a, that's a huge red flag to me. That's not normal. And what that is is bullshit. They're feeding you bullshit. They're keeping you on the phone deliberately to get you flustered, to waste your time. And the whole point of that is not only to break you, but also to um, fluster you because they get off on that. They're more frustrated the more exasperated and uh, 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 nervous or what have you, the more discombobulated you are, that's their goal. Then your things become disoriented, disorganized, and you can't think straight. That's exactly what their goal is. If you're someone like me who can handle a lot of stress and uh, you're resilient and you're e e efficient and organized, that's their number, that's their number one enemy. Otherwise, if you're someone who's not accustomed to stress and a hard life and multitasking and all that, while the sirens are going off and while the emails are blasting and while the texts are showing and you're getting phone calls on your phone, you're not going to be able to handle that. But I can handle it, and that's why I've accomplished as, uh, what I've accomplished in the period of time that I've been focused on this. So I'm going to play that. I'm going to uh, play the video or not, uh, record play the voicemail left by PayPal. And this sounds like the same person that I connected to every single time I called PayPal. Hi, thank you so much for waiting on the line. This is Cheryl, one of the supervisors from PayPal. This is a courtesy call back, but I believe you're not available at this time. Please just send us a message for the best time to reach you out, or you may try to contact us to a customer service number at 8881-1161. Have a good one. Two things to point out about that voicemail. The background commotion that's heard in nearly every single fraudulent call, the background call center noise. And that's also mentioned quite frequently in complaints, the call center. The other thing to mention is just how fast she uh, repeated, uh, said the number. It was totally incoherent. You couldn't catch any of what she said as far as the digits. And third, again, uh, most companies don't do so-called courtesy calls. There's no point in it. There's no point in talking to a representative who's only going to call you back, quote unquote, for a courtesy call. It's a nuisance. It's an invasion of privacy. And it goes in line with their harassment. Robocalls, texting, completely inappropriate. And most people, I believe, would have a problem with that. 